Hello, curious minds! In the far reaches of our solar system, Neptune and Pluto may seem like distant strangers, but their paths are closer than you'd expect. Could they ever collide, and if the unimaginable happened, what chaos would unfold? In this video, we'll reveal the surprising truth behind their orbits and imagine the extraordinary possibilities. Let's dive in! Our journey begins by addressing a common misconception. When we look at simplified diagrams of the solar system, it often appears in a flat, 2D plane. For instance, it often appears as though Pluto's orbit intersects with Neptune's, suggesting a potential collision course. This idea of a collision is dramatic and certainly captures the imagination. But when we delve into the actual mechanics of the solar system we find that this, simply isn't the case. These two-dimensional representations don't tell the whole story. In reality, our solar system is a three-dimensional environment, with planets and other celestial bodies moving in orbits that can be tilted and elliptical. For example, while Neptune's orbit is nearly circular and flat, Pluto's is highly elliptical and tilted, about 17 degrees relative to Neptune's plane. Because of this inclination Pluto often travels far above or below Neptune's path. Even when their orbits appear to cross in a top-down view, the two are separated by millions of kilometers. Imagine two airplanes flying at different altitudes. From a certain perspective their flight paths might seem to cross but in reality they are flying at different heights and will never collide. Now here's the key. Neptune and Pluto are locked in something called a 3, 2 orbital resonance. This means that for every three orbits Neptune completes around the Sun, Pluto completes exactly two. This synchronization ensures that the two bodies never come too close. When Pluto's orbit brings it inside Neptune's, this resonance guarantees that Neptune is always far away, often on the opposite side of the Sun. Finally, thanks to these mechanisms, their orbits have remained stable for millions of years. Simulations show that this resonance prevents close encounters for the foreseeable future. Even as small gravitational influences from other planets make slight adjustments over time. So no matter how their paths align, Neptune and Pluto are never in the same place at the same time. So far we've explored why Neptune and Pluto will never collide under normal circumstances. But what if something significant disrupted their orbits? Could a rogue event throw these two celestial neighbors onto a collision course? Let's explore what might happen if the delicate balance of our solar system were shattered. For Neptune and Pluto to collide, their orbits would need to be significantly altered. This could happen if a massive external force like a rogue planet or a passing star disturbed the outer reaches of the solar system. Such events are rare but not impossible. Astronomers believe similar disruptions may have occurred in the early solar system, scattering objects in the Kuiper Belt and beyond. A strong enough gravitational tug could distort their stable orbits, potentially breaking their 3, 2 orbital resonance. Without this resonance, the finely tuned relationship between Neptune and Pluto could unravel, increasing the chances of a close encounter, or even a collision. Now that we've set the stage for a potential disruption, let's break down exactly how a collision between Neptune and Pluto could unfold. What would it take for their orbits to cross paths, and what would the moment of impact look like? The process begins with a major external event which could break the three, two orbital resonance that keeps them apart pulling Pluto's orbit closer to Neptune's over thousands or even millions of years. As their orbits become unstable, Neptune and Pluto would begin to interact more directly. Close gravitational encounters would further distort their paths, setting the stage for an eventual collision. Each pass would bring them closer to a fateful crossing. After millions of years of gradual orbital shifts the moment of impact would arrive. At the scale of the solar system it would happen almost instantaneously. Pluto, a tiny dwarf planet compared to Neptune's massive gas giant form, would collide at incredible speed, likely over 50,000 kilometers per hour. The collision would unleash an unimaginable amount of energy, equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs. Most of Pluto would disintegrate on impact, its icy surface and rocky core vaporized by the force. Neptune would survive the collision but would experience significant atmospheric disturbances, with massive shockwaves rippling through its thick gaseous layers. While Neptune already has a faint ring system, but the addition of fresh debris could make these rings far more visible, possibly resembling Saturn's iconic structure. A collision between Neptune and Pluto would be a dramatic event, but its consequences wouldn't stop at the point of impact. Such a cataclysmic event would ripple across the solar system, leaving behind a cascade of effects that could last millions of years. Let's explore what might happen in the aftermath. The collision would eject fragments of Pluto into space, creating a vast debris field. While much of this material would remain in orbit around Neptune, some would be flung into the far reaches of the solar system. This debris could collide with other objects in the Kuiper Belt, triggering a chain reaction of impacts that might send comets or asteroids hurtling toward the inner planets. Over time, this would increase the risk of meteor impacts on Earth and its neighbors. 
but it's not just the debris that would disrupt the Kuiper Belt. This distant region of icy bodies and dwarf planets would likely feel the effects of the collision as well. Gravitational disturbances from the event could knock objects out of their stable orbits, creating chaos in this once quiet part of the solar system. The collision would slightly alter the overall gravitational balance of the solar system. While the effects wouldn't drastically change the orbits of the inner planets, they might lead to subtle shifts over time, influencing the paths of nearby celestial bodies. Ultimately, the solar system structure would adapt to the changes. And what about Earth? While the collision itself would occur billions of kilometers away, the indirect effects could eventually reach us. Fragments of debris or displaced objects from the Kuiper Belt might make their way toward the inner solar system much faster, possibly within centuries, leading to an increase in meteor showers or even direct impacts on Earth. However, the gravitational changes caused by the collision, like shifts in the orbits of planets or smaller bodies, would play out much more slowly, over the course of millions of years. So could a collision between Neptune and Pluto ever happen? We see now that the odds are astronomically low. Thanks to the stable, locked orbits and the three two-orbital resonance that keeps them apart, these two distant bodies are safe from each other, for now, and into the foreseeable future. Their three to two orbital resonance, combined with Pluto's tilted and elliptical orbit, ensures that they never come close enough to collide. So what do you think? Could a cosmic event like this really alter the balance of our solar system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on the wonders of space. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up. Eep.